I want to thank you, Lord, God Almighty, Creator of the universe, Savior and Redeemer, to give life with abundance to my spiritual father, Martin Verhage. Through all these years of praying and intercession for me, he's a great example, living example. This coming soon, 30 years, I know the Lord through my very close friend, brother, Joost Verhage, the son of my spiritual father, Martin. Today, he already in heaven. And I ask you, Lord, receive his soul. We always believe in the 24 hours is a soul is transferred to the new Jerusalem. God Almighty, creator of the universe, receive his soul of my precious spiritual father, Martin Verhae. Thank you for his tremendous life. Until a few hours ago, he's still speaking to people in the hospital about you, Jesus Christ. He's 96 years old and for whole life he's serving you. He's a righteous man. Tremendous man. With a great example for my private life, for my family, and for the many, many all around him. For years he done the Bible study in his house. We never forget his kindness, his love, his support. Today, I release my precious spiritual father, Martinez Verhage, to you. Bless the whole Verhage family, the brother Lawrence, Peter, and Yost. Bless this beautiful family, Lord. This may be the time what you, Papa Martin, always pray for unity. You always pray for the family be know you. The family be serving you and love you, Jesus Christ. We want to say today appreciation from the bottom of our heart for everything what Papa Martin done. Praying, supporting many people. People sometimes really using him but father in heaven we give thanks for life of papa martin that you have given him and giving to us and i pray for protection for the whole family of verhage and friends of beloved your servant we ask this and through the authority and saving name of yeshua the messiah Bless abundantly this precious say, servant, Martin. And I ask you, God Almighty, bless his life. Bless his soul. Bless the people who is so close with him. They be really know you more. This is the hard desire of Martin Verhage. The people be know the Savior. The people be not go to hell, but go to New Jerusalem. Thank you for the Martin Verhage life. Thank you for my precious, beautiful family in Netherlands, Holland. Thank you. It's a sad day for me today. Special. For a few hours from now, I go into the mission to China. To two weeks. And I don't have opportunity to be in the funeral with him last moment. But my heart is with him and I never forget his life yes death spread to all the human mankind through the sins of the fathers after fathers but the most high has allowed all, all of mankind to be led and the sin by Satan but this allowed to see for herself when sin lead us we see in the first part of Romans chapter 6, 23, say that wage of sin is dead. So, as opposed to Satan's lie that after disobey God, our forefathers will not die. Dead was introduced. 
we know that according to the revelation chapter 20 verse 4 and 5 and 5 and 6 there are two resurrections and i saw the thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given to them and i saw the soul of those who have been beheaded because of testimony of Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, and because of the wor word of Elohim, God Almighty. And those who had no worship the beast of his image and had no received the mark upon their hand, and they come to life and regenerating and be resurrected with Messiah for a thousand years. The rest of there did not come to life until the thousand years were complete. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and set apart is the one who has part in first resurrection over the second dead has no power. But they will be the priest of Elohim God and Messiah and will reign with him for thousand years. Lord, thank you for Papa Martin. For this precious man you give into my life and change my life. I see his life and precious his wife, Mama Maria. Before she passed away, she wants to also see me. And I receive from her unconditional love. The stream of love. And I never forget about this family. Where they are always show the love. They are the true example of Jesus Christ to the many neighbors in the province of Venlo, Venrai, and Brookhausen First in Holland. And I bless right now the Verhage family. I pray for supernatural unity between Lawrence, Peter, and Joost, and me. We are the four sons who left in this world to be united and to bring light to others. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, the Savior and Redeemer. Father, I ask you, receive today the soul of your servant, Martin Verhage. Receive his soul. Receive him to New Jerusalem. He is the righteous man who has died today in Shabbat. And for us, for the Jewish people, person who died in Shabbat, he is the righteous man of God. And Martin Virhahe, he is the righteous man of God. Thank you for his life. Thank you that he is the light for me. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Amen.